What is going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the season five pack that they just released in Zen Studio. Uh, they released it a couple days ago, but they updated it yesterday. And uh, my first impressions are the anti-recoil is amazing, guys. The anti-recoil is very good. It's somewhat similar to the pro pack, if not better. But the aim assist, I don't know, man. This is, this is my own opinion. The aim assist, in my opinion, is not as good. All right, so <clears throat> if you're a fan of like sticky aim and all that stuff, this pack might not be for you. But if you really love anti-recoil and, you know, you don't want too much aim assist, this pack is made for you, man. I'm not even joking. Um, I'm going to give you guys the best settings. Let's get straight into it. Now, first thing before we start, I just want to talk about the anti-recoil spreadsheets on the Patreon. Now, if you don't want to waste your time shooting at walls, you know, if you're busy, over here is a perfect place for you. Now, since they've uh, patched the Season 4 Community Pack, I have to make a brand new spreadsheet. So the Season 5 spreadsheet will be made tonight. I would also drop the hybrid anti rico spreadsheet for season five tomorrow all right but in the meantime i really recommend you guys come and try the pro inversion 5.3 spreadsheet and the pro inversion 5.2 spreadsheet these two spreadsheets i've gotten so much good feedback on them and i'm telling you right now you can comment you can come into the discord ask the patreons how they're doing with their experience with these spreadsheets the love and support on these spreadsheets have been absolutely insane i'm telling you right now these spreadsheets give you, you know, sticky aim plus anti-recoil from close to medium distance. You can get pretty much perfect recoil. And, you know, with the season four packs, aim is being pretty much nerfed. The Taylor Drift script is, in my opinion, the best pack right now. So that's just my opinion. Um, you know, if you're interested, you can come here $10 per month. If you want more help, we got the VIP for $35 per month. These prices are also in Canadian, so keep that in mind. One more thing quickly before we go into the Zen, I want you guys to join on my Discord. I have this season four pack quick toggle guide, all right? You click and download it. Let's open it up. It says season four, but it's a season five pack. I don't want to change it because, you know, I'm a little lazy. It's the same thing. You don't need to read this. Pretty much all that's important is down here. Over here, you see the profile selection is, you know, view slash touchpad plus LB slash L1, weapon selection, anti recoil guide, aim assist guide, fire mods car mode pretty much what this is when you're on the zen all right when you're not in zen studio when you're not connected to zen studio this is how you can quickly change stuff so for example if you want to change through your profile selections it's view plus lb or touchpad and l1 all right when you do that it saves you lots of time you know you don't gotta write it down you can pretty much come in here download this and print it out that's what i do that's how i play i always have the guide next to me because you know i always forget and yeah so make sure you comment to the discord download this up download this for yourself we're gonna go into zen studio i'm gonna show you guys how to install the pack and how to set it up so you're gonna go into zen studio to programmer go to newest click and drag call of duty warzone season 5 pack into a slot all right once you do that this will open up now these first couple of things you're pretty much just gonna match in game those settings that i recommend over here is the five dead zone in game will be 0 0.05 dead zone i also recommend standard curve tech um, sensitivity button layout stick layout it's all up to you all right so make sure you guys set that up we're gonna go down so this is a really important part a lot of people used to use hybrid for now I'm only rocking with enabled I have some hybrid values that I'm working on right now but for now for you guys to get the best out of the pack I would really recommend enabled um, I will be dropping hybrid values tomorrow but getting the anti rico with hybrid is super difficult man you have to put the values up to like a hundred and it's just really they made it really confusing man i don't i'm not a fan of it but enabled anti recoil really gives you that super laser beam anti recoil it just doesn't give as much sticky aim now over here is where we set our weapon profiles um if you purchase a spreadsheet from me you'll see i'll always give you v all right so for vertical and i'll give you an h for horizontal so for my first weapon profile, I always leave it on regular fire because I set the prep uh, profile one as ground loot. And you don't want to set up your ground loot for a specific um, weapon because ground loot is always random. You never know where you're going to pick up. So you don't want to risk uh, in case you pick up a gun and it's not the same profile and it's not matched. Your anti vehicle is going to be messed up. All right. Um, I'm going to work on some some ground uh, profile anti vehicle values. In the old pack season four, I had it up until like, I think 12 for both of these, uh, 10 to 15 to 12, something like that for the vertical. But for now, we're going to leave it at zero. All right. So leave this at zero. Copy this. Now, where we, when we scroll down to profile two, this is where you're going to set up your loadout. All right. 
um, let's say you're using a kilo all right you're using a kilo for your primary and your secondary is a p90 all right you're gonna set these up depending on your sensitivity if you do purchase a spreadsheet of mine or somebody else's you will look at your sensitivity you'll look at the gun and you'll match until you find the value so the value could be like 10 v negative 1 h so you'll click it until you go 10 v all right vertical negative 1 h all right oops negative 1 h all right once you put in these values like this you're going to scroll down i'm going to give you guys a tip right now so you're going to scroll down until you see primary uh, extended mag option and secondary extended mag option over here i put these uh, magazine sizes to my loadout all right i match it with my loadout even though when i'm on profile one on my ground loot you know the guns may not have 60 round mags i hope that makes sense um, but pretty much as we saw we have a kilo up there so i put the 60 round mag to match the kilo and then the p90 i believe is a 50 round mag i'm not sure but we're matching it with the p90 even though when we land into the game right away we're going to be on regular fire we're going to be on profile one we're still going to match the uh, magazine size to profile two aka our loadout all right if you're if you're confused with this please comment down below and i'll explain it to you more i feel a little bit confused even saying this because for me it's so simple and sometimes it's hard to explain the simple stuff right now down here is where you see active profile obviously you know we load into the game with profile one with regular fire as i said and then once we pick up our loadout you're going to change it to profile two all right it's too, super simple you can change it on the zen with the quick toggle now we're going to go down keep this on automatic 100 percent because when you press triangle you don't want to ha have to do it manually that's just super annoying just put it on automatic trust me and over here is the amos's values that i'm going to give to you guys not these values over here i'm going to plug in my values right now let me look at my screen so you don't want to have the ads values too high and you don't want to have the fire values too high either all right when you have these high values it's going to cause screen shake and it's just going to mess up your name all right so if we go for ads strength of eight we go for a hmm, fire strength of 17. all right then we have a ads step of eight and then we have a fire step of 17. Okay, this is what I'm using right now. Um, because the aim assist is so weak, in my opinion, I put it a little bit higher. These are, I would, I would say these are kind of high values, but I'm telling you right now, the aim assist is not very strong. So playing with this, it looks high, but it's not gonna feel that high. I'm telling you right now, the aim assist is, is not sticky at all. But I'm, I'm liking these values. I had a couple good gameplays with it yesterday. I tested the script out for probably like five hours yesterday, and these were kind of the best values that I found. So I really recommend you try them. Now let's go down over here are just the fire mods i don't think i'm gonna go over the fire mods but i mean if you want to turn on rapid fire um, you can turn it on i probably wouldn't even turn it on over here i'd probably turn it up on the profile at the top um going down we can see quick scope keep this disabled all of these mods are just they're so self-explanatory i don't need to explain to you slide cancel if you want it on you enable it you know what i'm saying if you want auto ping on fire you know what i'm saying on ads you can turn it on yourself i don't need to explain this up for you super simple once you're done you click close and click program device now i want you guys to give me feedback on the script i want to know what you guys think in my opinion taylor drift script is a little bit above this pack uh, the only thing this pack has really good is the anti recoil the aim assist is it's average man but i'm not a big fan of it i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys so please give me some feedback. Let me know how the script goes for you. Comment down below. Join up the Discord. Message me on Discord. Let me know how it's working. Let me know how the aimless values work too. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.